And look, thanks to my weekend job here, I get the scoop on park auditions. They're casting for... Heidi Hepper! In a stage show of cream come true! It's the part you've always wanted. Everybody who is Heidi has done big things. Why, one of the actresses is now a leading bovine on Broadway. I'm gonna sign up to audition right now. Oh, Benny, you're the best. Mwah. <laughs> Whoa, 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 ah, ooh. Ugh, next. I don't know how this occurred, but I lost my way. I'm confused. <laughs> uh, next. I don't know how this occurred, but I lost my way. I better find it, or I'll be in gelato trouble. Mau! <gasps> Put those other heifers out to pasture. We found our Heidi. Yes! Moo! 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 Nah, toots. That's too Holstein. Go lower, into your jersey range. Oh, Mr. Coconut, I can't wait to tell Mrs. Bernardo I got the part. She'll be over the moon, toots. Aww. <laughs> Class, you're looking at a woman who was up all night crying. I mean, workshopping her emotions. I auditioned for a major role and was rejected for the 14th time. <laughs> it's a character that speaks to me, one I'm meant to play. Why, why dost thou elude me, Heidi Heifer? Luann, did I miss it? Did you tell Mrs. Bernardo your big news? <gasps> Perhaps a sprig of good news will sweeten my sorrow. Well, Luann, what are your happy tidings? She, uh, bought me a new bow tie. Ain't it a real doozy? Uh, and the agony lives on. Luann, will you lead acting warm-ups? I'll be brooding tragically in the wings. I know she was upset, but I think you should have told Mrs. B you were cast as Heidi. She's your mentor. Are you out of your adorable curly-haired mind? That's exactly why I didn't say anything. The role means a lot to her. Finding out I got it would crush her. I can't do that. Oh, I need my script so you can help me run lines at lunch. <gasps> ah! Wowza, it's not in here, doll. The last time I saw you with it was this morning in theater class. <gasps> That's where I must have left it. And my name's on the cover. Oh, Benny, this is no time for pie-in-the-face gags. We've got to get that script before Mrs. B sees it. Yeah! All right, thespians, places for our mime funeral scene. Remember, let your body do the crying. So that's where I left the script for my new one-woman show. And Curtain, which also happens to be the name of the show! Whoa! Uh. Do you have anything with a your acting career hasn't been a total farce vibe? I have this one with kitty cats. Oh, that cheers me up a smidge. I was in a lauded production of Cats in 89. Cats with a K, for legal reasons. No, oh, never mind. The kitties look like they're laughing at my suffering. <sighs> well, that was unscripted. Hey, Mrs. B, would you help us out? Mrs. Apple Blossom has a big dance recital today, and she could really use your feedback. Here? Yeah? Amongst the produce? Well, like you always say, all the world's a stage. Cursed dairy, everywhere I doth go, you haunt me like a lactose demon. Ah, uh, thank you. You're welcome. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Feta Falls, Milkshake Mountain, Parmesan Peak? Gosh! This magical dairy adventure has been the trip of a lifetime! You said it, Tippy. 
Oh, Dairy Godmother, it makes my stomach churn just thinking about this dream having to end. Why, it don't have to, little cheese curd. You can always find the doorway to this enchanted place in your grocer's dairy section. Eating yogurt and feta cheese too. All of this dairy's a dream come true. Great rehearsal, everyone. That's lunch. Let's be back in an hour. We don't want to be late for our first performance. And don't even think about standing in line for a funnel cake. I'm looking at you, Cheryl. <laughs>